Question 25. 3016 divided by 13. Now we're going to use the chunking method for this. So we need to subtract chunks of 13 away until there's nothing left. So let's think about what our chunks actually are. So we'll have a chunk of 1 lot of 13, 10 lots of 13, 100 lots of 13. We'll have 2 lots of 13, 20 lots of 13, 200 lots of 13, and we'll have 5 lots of 13. That can also come in handy. Anytime you do a chunking question, these are the chunks that you need. So 113 is just 13, 10 13 is going to be 130, and 113 is going to be 13, but this time with two zeros on it, so 1300. 213 is going to be 26, 2013 is going to be 26, but with one zero on the end, and 213 is going to be 26, but with one two zeros on it, so 2600. 5 lots of 13 is going to be half of whatever 10 13 is, because 5 is half of 10. So half of 10 13 is half of 130. Well, half of 100 is 50, and half of 30 is 15. Put your 50 and 15 together, that makes 65. So 5 13 is 65. Now what we've got to do next is find the biggest number out of these chunks. These are our chunks to choose from to subtract from 3016. So the biggest number I can take away is 2600. So we'll take away 2600. You can't just take it away, you must say what chunk of 13 that is. Well that's a chunk of 213. So I'm going to write 200 at the side. I need to add up my chunks right at the end. We need that 200 later. So let's subtract this. So we've got 6 take away 0 is 6. 1 take away 0 is 1. 0 take away 6 we can't do, so we need to borrow 1, borrow 1 from the 3 and it becomes a 2, and then 1 we borrow makes that into 10. 10 take away 6 is 4, 2 take away 2 is nothing, so I'm down to 416. So now I need to go back and say what's the biggest number now from my choice of chunks that I can take away from 416. Well it's going to be this one here, 260. So if I take away 260, that is a chunk of 20. 13s. So now we need to subtract that off. We're trying to get down to zero. When there's nothing left, I can't take away anything else. But now I'm only on 416. So let me take off my 260. See where that gets me to. 6 takes 0 is 6. 1 takes 6. I can't do. So I need to borrow. Which makes 3. And the 1 I borrow makes this to 11. So 11 takes away 6 is 5. And 3 takes away nothing. Sorry, 3 take away 2, because this is a 2 here, isn't it? 3 take away 2 is 1. So I'm down to 156. 156. See, what I should be doing is trying to stick to my squares here, otherwise I'm going to confuse myself. So I'm just going to rub that out and put 156 back in my squares. There we go. So I'm down to 156. Now, what can I take from 156? Well, I can take 130. So 130 is a chunk of 10 13. So I'm going to write 10 on the side. Let's see what happens when we take 130 away. 6 take away 0 is 6. 5 take away 3 is 2. And 1 take away 1 is nothing. So I'm down to 26. Okay, now it's getting a little bit easier. So 26, the next chunk I can take is this 26 which is the same as two thirteens. And obviously it should be easy now because 26 taking 26 is nothing. Once I get down to zero, which I have, I need to add up all of my chunks. So I've got 200 lots, 20 lots of 13, 10 lots of 13, and two lots of 13. All together, this is 200 plus 20 is 220, plus 10 is 230, plus two is 232. So all together, it's 232 lots of 13. So your final answer is 232 lots. It's very important to write down your chunks in circles at the side, which will make it obvious on what you've got to add up at the end. Also very important to make sure you don't make any mistakes in your subtraction, because if you make mistakes in the subtraction, 
may end up with some number left at the end here. It is possible to end up with a number left at the end. And if you did end up with a number left at the end and you haven't made any mistakes when you subtraction, all that means is the number at the end is actually a remainder. But that didn't happen here. There's no remainder because we've ended up with zero at the end.